Well, hello, Avenue, and welcome to this video where I'm going to be interviewing Joe True, our candidate for women's worker at Avenue. As, as most of you hopefully know by now, we're going to be having two church members votes at the July family meeting on Tuesday, the 6th of July. One is to appoint a new youth and families worker at Avenue, and the other is to appoint a new women's worker at Avenue. And we're using this video to introduce us all to Joe True as our candidate for the women's worker role. Obviously, many of us will know Joe really well, um, but we thought it'd be great just to, to record this interview to give us a sense of what she would like to do with this role. So, Joe, thank you very much for being interviewed by me today. Oh, it's good to be here. Thank you. Great. So, so first of all, Joe, um, just if you could tell us how you have benefited personally from the women's work at Avenue over the years. Okay. Well, I guess many of you know that um, Stu and I have been part of Avenue for a really long time. I think we came when um, uh, Avenue was about six months old. So I feel like I've benefited from all of the women's work um, at Avenue over the years. Um, and um, I've been part of a, a prayer trip there. Um, I'm part of, um, I've done one-to-ones. I've um, been part of Care and Share when the kids were little um, and uh, part of the women's group as well. And um, I've really benefited personally um, from all of those things, um, just in perseverance and in learning from other women and um, uh, studying God's word together. That's been really just amazing um, in my life, seeing um, like gaining tools of how to understand God's words um, understanding how to apply it. Um, and yeah, just discussing it and uh, learning what it looks like to uh, be a Christian woman um, and uh, grow together with other women from Avenue. So um, it's been, yeah, really a real privilege. Great. So Joe, so why are you passionate about seeing women discipling one another at Avenue? Um, I guess both from my own personal experience of just uh, you know, how great it's been to uh, grow as a Christian through other women at Avenue, um, that's just been a real blessing to me. Um, but also, um, you know, we're commanded in scripture, so women are directed to, older women are directed to um, uh, teach what's good and uh, to train up younger women so that um, we're equipped to live out all that God has given us to do. Um, and uh, God knows us really well, so he knows what we need, and he knows that um, we can learn from one another. Um, you know, God saved us into, not just as individuals, but as, as a church and um, into that family, and um, you know, knows that we flourish when we uh, love and serve one another um, by discipling one another and um, encouraging one another in the gospel together. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's why I'm just really excited about this. Brilliant. So I guess looking to the future, what is your vision for work with women at Avenue uh, for the future? Um, well, there's just loads of great things that are happening already. Um, so and things that have happened in the past as well. So um, part of the role um, and part of what I want to do is just to encourage the good things that are happening already. So um, to say to people, uh, just you know, keep going with the things that you found helpful and beneficial. Um, and persevere with them um, and um, but also for those things that are good that people have found beneficial and really helping each other to um, you know train and encourage one another um, to make them accessible for more people um, so uh, just seeing if if there are women who would like to be part of prayer triplets or one-to-ones or you know join women's group or um, uh, you know be able to serve the church or serve one another um, in ways. It's just kind of seeing how we can um, do that well. Um, uh, and I guess I'd love to get to know more of the women at Avenue. Um, obviously, I've been really involved with the women's group particularly, but there's, you know, that's not the whole church. So yeah, <laughs> I'd love yeah. to get to know people and, um, you know, just listen to them and see if there's any ways that Avenue can serve them well. Um, I guess, hope, you know, God willing, that we might be able to do some like days away in the future or training, things like that, which might be beneficial and which might be helpful for women. Um, and uh, I've also um, been part of a, uh, I guess it's, a, it's called the Passion for Evangelism Network, um, which describes itself as a network of female evangelists. Now, I wouldn't put myself in that category, um, but I feel like it's okay to see what they're doing and see if, they're, see if there's any things from that that we could borrow, that we could use, that could help us to, um, uh, as women to share, um, to share Jesus with our friends. 
Um, so I'd love to get involved with all those things. Brilliant, Joe. Joe, thank you so much. That's really exciting to hear those those thoughts and, and, and hopes for the future. And really great to hear from you today. So I guess, yeah, as I say, this video, we're coming to the end of it now, but this is really to help us in lead, the lead up to the church members' votes that are happening at the July family meeting on Tuesday, the 6th of July. Those will be email votes in advance of that meeting. We'll um, be sending out information in the coming weeks about um, how you can vote if you're a church member at Avenue. Um, but yeah, but we wanted to record this interview with Joe to give people a sense of, of yeah, her passion for this rule. So we're really excited to be proposing Joe for the role of women's worker at Avenue. So Joe, thanks so much for being interviewed today. And um, yeah, and we hope um, everyone that you find this video helpful.